Today we have a new system update, the fourth one for me in 2022. It is 2022.12.3. It's not a huge update, but a few interesting things I want to cover today. I got the alert for a new update on my phone this evening while I was out for dinner. Let's update it and see what we get. As I usually do, I'll cover the first thing you see when you do the update, a look at the release notes page. If you happen to skip it, you can find it again by tapping the control button, software, and then scroll down until you see the release notes button on the right side of the screen. Press it and you have a listing of the changes for this update. The first thing we have is additional bottom bar customization. You can now add vehicle controls such as defrost, windshield wipers, and seat heaters to the bottom bar. Long press any app icon to enter edit mode. Then drag the desired control to the bottom bar. This is the biggest update. Note that there are four icons on the bottom app bar. Hold down any of the icons to bring up the menu. First, I will drag down all the new icons. Wiper controls, front defrost, rear defrost, and wipers. Now you get some changes. The seat heaters are placed in the space between the HVAC control and the bottom bar. The front defrost, rear defrost, and wipers all go in the same area, the menu bar which has the name My Apps. But also note that you have five icons on the app bar. Of course you can still mix and match these new icons and the original icons in any order you see fit. I'll remove the defrost buttons temporarily. Press the heated seat icon and it turns on full power. Then press it again to lower it and once again for the lowest setting. Finally, one more press turns it off. Pressing the wiper icon will bring up the wiper menu, but it doesn't turn the wipers on. Note that you can turn the wipers on for a quick swipe by pressing the end of the left steering stalk. Let me put the defrost icons back in to test them too. One press of the front defrost turns it blue, which means that the AC will turn on and blow cold air up into the windshield. Press it again turns it red, which will turn on the heat and blow warm air up into the windshield. An additional press turns it off. Press the rear window defrost and it turns on. Press it again and it turns off. This is a very good addition to the bottom row. Many people have complained when Tesla stripped the HVAC controls from the bottom of the screen in December. Now we have the flexibility to add them back. For example, in the summer, you can turn off the heated seat icons so they don't take up space. This is a welcome change. I'll now put the icons in the order that I will most likely use them. Next up is Child Lock. Child Lock can now be enabled for a single rear door. You tap Controls, Child Lock, and select Right, Left, or Both. So let's go into the menu and see how it works. Here is Child Lock. Press once to turn it on. The button will turn blue. The first option is both, then left, then right. Press the button again and it will change from blue to gray. Next up is additional mobile app controls. Dog mode and camp mode can now be enabled from the Tesla app. Note this functionality requires mobile app version 4.7.0. Start the app on your phone, go into climate page, and then scroll down to the bottom to reveal the options. In addition to defrost car, we now have camp mode and dog mode as new buttons. Press either one to turn on that HVAC setting in the car. And last, we have new language support. Your touchscreen is now available in Turkish. To switch your language setting, tap Controls, Display, and Touch Screen Language. But wait, there's more! Here is the first undocumented item. If you go to the navigation screen, the compass, which can also be used as a button to switch the navigation system between Always North and having your vehicle always facing upward, has moved to the top left corner with the V11 update. 
However, with this update, the compass has moved back to the top right of the screen where it was originally located. The second undocumented change is browser improvements. During the last few updates, the internet browser was really laggy and had lots of issues with falling behind current browsers and security protocols. The web browser in your car has been updated to provide a better experience. The browser is now based off of Chromium 98 instead of Chromium 88, which was released in January 2021. Over the past year, there have been various big improvements to Chromium, a faster version of V8, Chromium's JavaScript engine. In addition to being updated to a more recent version of Chromium, there have been several improvements made to make browsing easier and more efficient. You can now clear your browser's history by navigating to Controls, Service, and tapping on Clear Browser Data. Well, that wraps up this episode of System Update 2022.12.3. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.